Welcome to Hull Adventures. I am Eddie. Laura's in here right now. Laura's in here right now because this is Eddie's Cruise News. Today is Saturday, June 18th, 2022. I'm in beautiful Traverse City, Michigan on Grand Traverse Bay. That body of water behind me is Lake Michigan, guys. Absolutely beautiful. We have cruise news today. It's actually not cruise news, but it's travel related news. And that is about the airline industry. What is going on with the airlines, guys? Let's get into it. Okay, guys, yesterday, Friday, June 17th, 2022, the airlines canceled 1,300 plus flights. They had over 4,700 flights delayed just yesterday, Friday. This is a bad start to the summer vacation season for the airline industry. It has a lot of people concerned. Yesterday, Delta canceled 8% of their flights. Uh, American Airlines canceled 7% of their flights. They were the leaders in flight cancellations yesterday. Uh, a uh, spokesperson for American Airlines blamed a lot of their cancellations on weather, inclement weather yesterday. It's June, we're not in the heart of winter. You know, I don't know uh, exactly what is going on there, but I'm sure it's storms, storm fronts, whatever coming in, and usually that will, you know, delay flights. And if the flights get delayed enough, then they have to start canceling flights. Uh, just so you guys know, even if you have a non-refundable ticket and you are canceled, the uh, Department of Transportation, the U.S. Department of Transportation requires the airline industry to, airlines must offer to book you on their next available flight. Uh, if they can't do that, if uh, that doesn't work for you, then you can ask for a refund, even if, if it's a non-refundable flight. So know that. Now where it gets sketchy is when they start delaying your flights and stuff like that. that. That gets a little trickier. But if they flat out cancel your flight and can't get you on the next available one, then you can demand a refund. That, that is your rights as a you know airline passenger. Uh, with that said, there's a lot of people, you know, really baffled at what is going on. What? Why are the the airlines struggling to meet the the demand? Well, number one, it's COVID. All right. When COVID hit, the airlines overreacted. A lot of people, a lot of people in the industry believed uh, in the travel industry that the airline industry overreacted by offering buyouts to all their pilots that were near retirement age and flight attendants near retirement age and they offered all these buyouts. A lot of people took the buyouts. They did this banking on the fact they thought they could fill these jobs quickly when demand returns. They were wrong. The shortage, the employee shortage goes all the way down from, from luggage handling all the way up. Uh, a lot of people uh, found new jobs. When the airlines start cutting their schedule and laying them off and you know doing buyouts or whatever, uh, a lot of these people found new jobs and they did not return to the air industry, airline industry. So now we have this shortage. And they're also stating that the huge demand for travel has caught them off guard. Again, that, is, that seems, that's a, that's a terrible excuse. Uh, they should have anticipated this. All of us that were stuck at home for 16 months and couldn't, you know, travel, we couldn't cruise. Uh, it, it wasn't it was dangerous to fly a lot of us were afraid to fly in the beginning so we weren't traveling and then when it became safe and covid relented and the vaccine came we were, we're all wanting to travel now we, we have pent up traveling in us we want to travel you know it's our it's what we enjoy doing so we are traveling as much as possible so that's where we're at guys and then you have you know we have it's just been a terrible time for for just about everybody in every industry because we have this record inflation, high prices, uh, you know, wages are going up, but they're not keeping up pace with inflation. It, it's, it's just, it, it's bad for everybody, you know, so we're adjusting, doing the best we can. And um, so that's where we're at. Uh, hopefully the airline industry catches up, but you know, we covered this in a news vlog a, about a week or two ago. And we spoke about the fact that the airline industry knew 
several years ago that they were going to be running into a shortage of pilots due to attrition, retirement. Um, they are not filling these pilot positions as they become empty. So they knew they were going to have an airline pilot shortage for years. So hopefully they get this all ironed out. But we could be looking at problems with this uh, staffing issue with the pilots for a couple years coming you know um there was a i believe delta pilots went on strike in new york or they were protesting in new york that wasn't a strike but it was a protest that they, they worked more overtime in 2022 so far than they did in 2018 and 19 combined so that that tells you and that's not safe right you get these pilots that are working non-stop overtime you know they're gonna be tired they're gonna be burned out that's not safe so with that said, I'm going to thank you for tuning in, watching our cruise news. We appreciate you being here. Look how beautiful that is back there. You guys, did you guys know Michigan look like that? It's a great state. It's just cold. You might be saying, hey, why are you wearing this hoodie? It is 61 degrees, and you can hear that water. The wind is blowing. Probably feels like 51, 50, 50, something like that. At least 10 degrees cooler. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.